Hello everyone. Welcome to Success Shaw Cent for Cent. Today we are going to study about topographical sheet. But first we will start with conventional signs and symbols. Conventional signs and symbols are standard symbols shown in the topographical map. These conventional signs and symbols are used to give a definite meaning to the different kinds of features present in a particular area or over a large area. These features can be natural or man-made features. Natural features means features like a mountain or a river or a plateau or trees etc. And man-made features include different types of settlement, a post office, a dark bungalow or a police stations and many other similar features like that. So today we will start with the meaning of conventional signs and symbols of natural features. But before that, do subscribe my channel to get the best and stay tuned till the end of the video because you will be getting many answers to the commonly asked questions in the board exam. So let's start. First, we will start with the meaning of conventional signs and symbols of natural features like the relief of a place. Now, what is this relief? Relief means the shape of the land, whether it's a mountain or a flat plain area or a plateau or a river valley. To know the relief of the plain area or any other feature, there are five common methods of knowing it. The common methods are contours, short heights, form lines, trigonometrical stations and benchmark. So we will see each of the method one by one. First we start with contours. What are contours? These are lines drawn on the map which join together all the places having same height and they are above the mean sea level. Mean sea level is 0 degree. Now here you will see two types of patterns are given on a contour. Let us understand what is symbolized. First one is 400 meters is given. Then 420, 440, 460, 480 and 500. So we see that the contour interval is 20 meters. The contour lines are very close to each other. And when you draw this on a graph paper, the feature which you get is of a conical hill. At the same time, you'll notice that this tip has a very small area. So it is a conical hill and the slope of the land is not gentle but very steep. So you can see this slope of the land is steep. So how do we know that? Because the contour lines are very close to each other and the contour interval you will see is 20 meters only. Here the contour interval is different. 150, 180, 210, 240, 270 and 300. 300 meters. Now here we see that the contour interval is 30 meters. The contour lines are a bit away from each other. You can see a regular spacing is also there and on top here they are far apart. So when you draw it on a graph paper the feature which you get is somewhat like this. A flat top. A flat top this shows it's a plateau. get it as a plateau. So you can find from the contour lines you can make it out what type of feature is present over there. Then we also have some more features which are written near some of the features like maybe near a river bank or maybe in a flat area or near a hilly area also. Now first is 8R. In some places you will find 8R is written. Maybe near a building or maybe near a tree also. So 
So it is, what is it? It is a relief height of that area with respect to the surrounding area but not from the mean sea level. Then near a river, it is marked with blue color. This is near a river, you will find that 6R is written. It is the relative height of the river bank which is given 6 meters. Please do not forget to write the unit that is meters. You should always write the meter that is the unit of the measurement that is 6 meters steep. This shows that it is the relative height of the river bank and this river bank is 6 meters steep. There is 4R. You can see the conventional sign. This conventional sign is of a sand dune. 4R is written. What does this mean? It is the relative height of the sand dune which is 4 meters. So always mention what is the measurement in along with the unit of that thing. Next you will see here a blue spot. Blue spot means it is a lined well. And 20 is written that means it is the depth of the lined well. So 20 meters deep you should write it in the measurement also in meters. Then 10 R. A blue circle is given. This is unlined well. 10 R is given. So 10 R means it is the depth of an unlined well and that is 10 meters deep. You will find in the sandy area D E T is written and a dot. This is the short form of depression. This means that it means that there is a depression in the sandy area because sandy area are not very flat area because it is undulating area. So there may be a depression or may be a hill. Next we move on to the next method of knowing the, the different kinds of relief that is form lines. Form lines you can see is for, they are broken lines. They are not continuous lines, they are broken lines and generally they are shown in brown in color in the map. At the same time, they are not numbered like the contour line. So, sometimes accurate survey is not possible in hilly areas because of the rough surface of the land. So, their form lines are used and form lines are broken brown lines used to show minor details, small details in that area. And they are not numbered like the contour lines. Now one thing more important is that like the contour lines, they are not the accurate height measured. Means accuracy is not important over there. Appro approximately what is the height that's written. So here but at the same time you will notice that the numbers are not written. It's just form lines which shows the height of that particular area or a feature. Then we have spot height. Spot height, you will find a black dark circle and a number will be written over there. Suppose a black dot and 480 is written. So this means they are generally marked on hill summits or along the road to represent the accurate height of a peak or maybe a, any other feature which is present over there and that is above mean level. That is after survey. So these are the features which are measured, the height is measured above mean sea level which is uh, 0 meters. Sea level means 0 meters. The fourth one is trigonometrical stations. Some areas are divided into triangles and then surveying of those regions are done. So they show the exact height of a place marked by triangle after actual survey. So whatever uh, Height is written that is the accurate height of that place. The last one is to know the relief of a place is benchmark. Through benchmark also we can understand what is the relief of those places. PM 610 may be written in some places or any other number and at the same time BM. BM means benchmark. They are the mark on bridges, pillars or any other natural features which are having great height to show the accurate height after actual survey and remember this is also from the mean sea level that is 0 meters. And now we will try to understand the meaning of the words which are written, written beside some conventional signs and symbols. There are words like causeway, broken ground, 
fire line, brackish, etc. Let us try to understand what is the meaning of these words. The first one is brackish. Brackish means there is a small water body. You can understand this way, a small water body. As we know that we are studying about the region in Rajasthan and Gujarat. The topographical sheet which you will be given is about the region of Rajasthan and Gujarat which are dry regions because of very high temperature and very low rainfall. So in these regions, small water body is present, can be a pond or any other feature. So here due to excessive high temperature, evaporation takes place. And this, the evaporation, when evaporation takes place, the water content is lost but the mineral content is left behind in the water, making it unfit for drinking. So we say that brackish means it is the water which is salty and not fit for drinking. In dry regions, due to extreme heat, excessive evaporation occurs, leaving high mineral content in the water and this makes the water not suitable for drinking. So this can be your answer for the word brackish. Then we see that there may be a small stream we find a small stream it can be a small distributary of a river. On that area you will find over that a small bridge like structure will be there. So this is called as causeway. Causeway is a metal road across a minor stream, a very small stream and this or it can be a marshy area also means water and muddy area. So it is a raised metal road across a minor stream or a low lying marshy area and it is at a shallow point comparatively in the other um, the neighboring areas this region is comparatively lower. So they are found in shallow point and they are a metal road. Then we find this broken ground. Now broken ground, the feature which you see in the broken ground, somewhat like this features can be seen. As we see that we are studying about the region in Gujarat and Rajasthan. So these regions are dry regions with high temperature. At times they also have all rainy season. So in rainy season the ground also becomes wet. Due to dry and wet conditions we see that there is the ground is developing cracks. So due to these cracks the ground seems to be broken. So it is called as broken ground and this happens due to excessive uh, heat and also in the rainy season they become a bit wet. So due to alteration of high dry season and wet season we see that the grounds they develop cracks. So this is a feature generally found along the banks of a seasonal river in dry regions. Dry regions we are talking about Rajasthan. They are formed due to alteration of wet and dry seasons. Then we have another feature fire line. From this figure you can understand it's about the forest area. Fire line is generally found in forest area. It is a path of 5 meters and this 5 meters is the path measurement. Not exact but sometimes more, uh, more or less it's 5 meters. So um, a path of 5 meters is cleared in a forest so that if any incident like fire takes place so it will stop spreading the fire. So you can write your answer. What is the meaning of fire line? If you get the question, what do you understand by fire line? It is a path of 5 meters cleared in a forest to prevent forest from spread, to prevent forest fire from spreading. So this is about the different meaning uh, of the words which are given in the conventional, which are given beside the conventional signs. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to get the best.